and the town hall is about to wake up as the king's gonna get 50% and the queen's just stuck on the ice golem so the town hall can reach the queen. No spells to help out either. This is really bad. Well, this is really bad. Town hall doing double damage now. Oh, queen's dead, dude. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next matchup. Today in the Summer Cup, we got Marcos Esports oh, versus TW Mini, and here we go. Let's go. Marcos Esports in with the first attack. Little zap. Quake action. Cool. Cool. Into a hero dive, into a Lalo. They're taking after stars. What do you get early? An Inferno Tower? Yes. And. A Builder Hut and an Expo, okay. Log Launcher, gonna take out this other Expo. King already working in. Queen over there for the enemy Royal Champion with a Ice Golem to help support. Cool. Cool. Yeti's come out of the Log Launcher. Pulled the CC troops out. It's good news. Great news. Ooh, King's gonna end up fighting all these Ice Golems on the outside of the base. King might actually go all the way in for this Inferno Tower and Eagle. This could be clutch. This could be a really clutch pathing here. Queen takes the scatter, pops her ability, gets a few more defenses. Ooh, but the rocket blooms are kind of wrecking the king. He sent a couple minions. Ooh, this king is actually getting shredded. Oh, he still is going to get the eagle in the multi. That's poggers. We start the Lalo from the top side of the base. King goes down, but the phoenix brings him back to life for eight more seconds, and he can try and get that eagle. And he just barely gets the eagle. He might not get the multi. He's already dead. Rip. That's a big rip. But oh well. At least we got the eagle. Lalo into the town hall. We're going to start freezing up the poison tower. Town hall's not actually awake yet. Ooh. Poison tower goes off on his main group of balloons there. Town hall's still not awake. Now it should be waking up. He's only got like two balloons there. Pops the warren ability. It's looking a little sloppy on the Lalo part. A little sloppy. Tornado trap spinning. Two balloons can take the town hall. Woo! Barely. Barely. Big yikes. But we got more Lalo troops on the other side with a skeleton spell with the royal champion with the headhunter. Double skeleton trap. Triple skeleton trap. Pops right there though. Awkward. Really awkward. Minions on the right side doing cleanup. His balloons. Main group died. Warden died. Owl died. Freeze on the last scatter shot. We got royal champ ability but way too many defenses left. No spell support whatsoever. This is a yikes. This is a yikes. Get that wizard tower. Get the archer tower. Royal champion gonna get bamboozled by the monolith. It's gonna end up being like a 83% attack here to start the match. Oof. Nice try, homie, but it falls short. We'll see what TW Minis can do with their first attack. Squishy is in with the next attack for TW Minis. First attack for them, and looks like he's bringing a super archer blimp with a lot of super bobs. Maybe. Let's see what he can do with it. Got an Electro Titan to help out. Two rage spells. Cool. Cool. When does he start? Here we go. Balloons on the bottom left. Sweet. Warden is in. Battle blimp. Go, go, go. Warden ability pops. Sweeper does hit the blimp once. That's it. Nope, nope. Hits the blimp a second time, but we still make it into that sweeper compartment. Early invis. Perfect. Rage. Clone. Next invis. One super archer gets bamboozled. He definitely wants the Town Hall here. Next Rage, two, three more invises. They get the Inferno. One more invis, they get the Eagle. Are they not able to get the Town Hall? Can they not reach it? Oh, they actually can't reach it. Oh, I'm a silly goose. Was he supposed to clone over the wall? I think he was. It's awkward. I mean, he still might be able to get Queen in there for the Town Hall, but was he expecting to get the Town Hall with the Archers? I don't know. Queen takes care of the Skelly Trap. King, Ice Golem over on the top left side of the base. Couple Super Barbs being sprinkled in. Oh, there's still Ice Golems on defense we're gonna have to worry about. 
This could get really awkward if they mess with the queen right when she's getting close to the town hall. This is going to be really bad timing. Oy. And the town hall is about to wake up as the king's going to get 50% and the queen's just stuck on the ice golem so the town hall can reach the queen. No spells to help out either. This is really bad. Well, this is really bad. Town hall doing double damage now. Or is it? It is. Oh, Queen's dead, dude. Oh, he's gonna have to send Super Barbs or the Champion. He decides to send the Champion for the Town Hall. That's always unfortunate. He needs to at least try to beat the percent from Marcos Esports. They got an 84. Town Hall drops. He's got a few more Super Barbs. He's not gonna be able to get 84, is he? Oh, gosh, no. This is a rip for Mr. Squishy. Champion takes out the wizard <laughs> with the help of the diggy, barely. Archer's on the bottom side of the base, sure. But unfortunate low percent attack here. Can you get the gold mine? 20 seconds. Every percentage point matters right now. There's 77, and he won't get the other building. 77% attack. Nice try. Amar Kuta is in for Marco C. Sports. Here we go. A lot of Electro Dragons cooked up for this one. Rocket Balloon's Baby Dragon kick things off on the top side of the base. Some Sneakies on the left. Cool. Baby Dragon takes a Tesla. Takes the gold mine. And Electro Dragons are in. Here we go. Battle Blimp. Warden ability right away. Let's go. Sweeper misses the blimp, so the blimp can just keep on soaring. It's gonna freeze the town hall and the other poison tower. Balloons take the town hall. Watch. King queen on the left side of the base. King with the frosty. Queen with the unicorn. E drags. How are they gonna path here? Two of them go way up. He drops the champion in ice gold early. The rest of them kind of peel toward the scatter shot here and toward the barbarian king. The pathing's wonky, man. No E-Drags going toward that Eagle Artillery. And the Ice Golems get pulled out to make things even worse. Awkward. Diggy stuns the Expo. One E-Dragon now in the Tornado Trap toward the Eagle Artillery, but he might die. Ugh. I don't know if I'm a fan of the early, super early row of champion like this. The E-Drag pathing just not ideal at all. Is Queen still alive with Warden, with e -drags. RC goes to ability there, gonna skip the core. Go along the outside of the base, get a little bit more value there. He's got a couple spells left over, could this still work? Could this still work? Freeze for the champion to help fight the Queen, and she gets through her before dying. There's the last rage spell. Warden goes down, Phoenix activates, Diggy stuns the scatter, Queen takes that out, one E-Drag on the outside of the base. Queen still has ability, raised up Unicorn, helping to keep her alive, but the Eagle Artillery shooting and hitting pretty hard. Oh yeah, yeah. It's actually so close. But Queen won't be able to reach that multi. That's gonna end up killing the Unicorn. Oof. Oh, she goes back around this way. She'll be able to get the eagle. Can she reach the multi from that angle? She can't. Hold on. Invis, but oh, that's gonna kill the unicorn. The invis was not perfect. Unicorn drops. Queen goes for builder hut. Skeleton trap distracts. Come on, Queen. Hurry up. You need to get that multi. You need to get that multi. You need to get that multi before the phoenix dies. 98%. Bro, it's so close. <gasps> no, the secret air mine. 99. Can she get through a wall in time? 20 seconds. <laughs> Queen versus the wall. This is the battle we've all been expecting. Queen, the ultimate wall breaker. 13, 12, 11, 10. It's taking her so much time just to get through the wall. The storage is at full health. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> one second to spare, bro. It was scripted. Amar Gupta picks up the triple, and Marcos Esports take the lead. DW Minis with their second attack, and it's time for them to triple if they want to catch back up. They're going with an early Warden blimp into an E Titan smash. Oh, is this another Super Archer blimp? Double clone, rage, 
One super archer gets cloned way outside the invis. He's dropping these invis spells way too fast, dude. He's only counting to like three instead of like four and a half. Oh, he runs out of invis spells so quickly and the town hall stays up. I think that was a misplay from his part. He was dropping those invis spells way too fast. Ice Golem, King, Queen, Warden, E-Titans, Baby Warden on the left side of the base. Here we go. He still has to worry about the town hall. Oh, this is awkward. Take a sip of coffee there. Everybody's skipping this first Inferno Tower as well. Also awkward. Tries to pull CC troops out early. It kind of works. Oh, this multi. Is the Warden going to get targeted by the Headhunter? This is awkward as well. He sent the Champion early? What the... Who taught these guys how to do smash attacks? What in the world? This is so messy. Everything's spreading out. He used the Warden ability early for the blimp. He did get that left Inferno Tower, but his Royal Champion is already dead. That's not ideal. And I'm not convinced he gets the Town Hall here. I think everybody's gonna skip the town hall. He's got no spells. No wall breakers. Unless the queen magically walks in, but even if she does, she gets locked onto by the monolith. Ice Golem on defense gonna stall things up. Queen ability goes off early. Does the king perfectly walk in? Oh my gosh, king might save the day. King ability might actually save the day here. He's got the phoenix. Down goes the monolith, dude. Okay, King saves the day for the Town Hall. Can he also get the three? <laughs> Dude, that Gigabomb just absolutely roasted the Queen. King has a lot of HP. He's got an Electro Titan behind. It's kind of close. Does that Baby Warden stay alive? Uh, no. Rip. 24 seconds. Can the Witch beat the Double Cannon? Two Witches. They might. Dude, he might triple. He's got the Archer on the storage. Does this actually triple? There's no freaking way. What? I thought this was going to be like a low percent wonky attack. The Super Archer blimp fails. Kinda. He didn't get the Town Hall. He sent his champion early to die. And he three stars with two seconds left over. <laughs> what? GG. Marcos Esports with the next hit. We're all tied up, ladies and gentlefish. Here we go. Here we go. Dragons with Dragon Riders and a Lava Hound in the mix. Interesting looking, very squarish base. There's a Lava Hound early. All the Dragon Spam is in. Okay. Just dropping everything in one tile. Battle Blimp as well. Warden Ability Pop. Free spell in the air sweeper. Poison Tower can make things a little bit interesting here. But the Blimp's making it pretty far. There's the Invis spell. Super Archers. Super Wizards. What the cap? And Super Archers. And a clone spell. Okay. Dragons on the bottom side still getting some decent value. You got the Bomb Towers. Another Invis. His troops are still alive up there. They get the Town Hall. They damage the Queen and the Champion a little bit. He Invises one more time. The Super Wizards mostly died on the top side. The Archers still getting a little bit of value. Now the Dragons die off. They didn't get the Scatter Shots. They didn't get the Multis. We send the Champion. King Queen on the left. Was it enough value? I, I don't know, dude. The dragon's only got like one compartment. That's kind of sad. Queen's having to skip the expo. Royal Champion has to fight rocket balloons. And then ice golems. Ugh. This Royal Champion gonna get bamboozled by ice golems. King has ability. Gonna get a ton of value along the top side of the base. But Royal Champion dying right there? Not good news. Not good news here. Here goes King Ability. Ice Golem's making their way over to the Queen. Queen kills enemy Queen. Queen kills Ice Golems. Sure. Phoenix activates as the King goes down. Okay. But there's still way too many defenses left. Way too many defenses. Tesla drops. We're gonna just slowly have to watch the queen wrap around the outside of the base, get as much percentage points as she can. But she won't be able to three-star the base. 
Expo Scattershot gonna be able to do too much damage here. Even if she had enough time to get through everything, which she won't. You would need like 17 more minutes for her to get through all these walls. Down goes the mortar, the Expo, the Archer Tower. Get close to 90 though. Here the mortar drops. It's got that last free spell. Unicorn's still alive, doing a little bit of work. As the Queen ability pops, he'll take out the Archer Tower. Lagging a little bit here. Bad connection. Rip the McDonald's Wi Fi. Should be an 89% though, I think. Bus point to us. Interesting name. In with another. Super Archer Blimp, Super Barbarian Attack. Okay, these guys like it. These guys like this attack. Balloons from the Twerp side, Warden. Use the Lava Hound early there? What the? Did that even get any value at all? Battle Blimp is in. Freeze spell on the Sweeper, Warden ability pop. He's got the Poison Lizard with the Warden because he wants to take out that Queen. And that actually works. I like it, nice touch there. Invis spell. Clone spell, rage spell, invis spell, invis tower, protects the town hall for now. Invis spell, another rage, invis spell, he's only got one left. Tell me they get the town hall this time. He's not going to get it, is he? It's the second inferno tower, and if he had one more invis, they might have been able to get the town hall, but no. Nope. They don't. E Titan on the top side of the base. King, queen up there. Okay. Take out the rocket balloon. And make her way to the right. Here we go. Oh, the Invis Tower is going to go off again, and he's got no spells. This is actually really awkward. He's got no spells to help this king and queen. Monolith gonna go invisible, do a lot of damage. Town Hall gonna go invisible. Ugh, about to get nasty. This is about to get real nasty, bro. I'm not a fan of some of these plans today. Sends the champion to help out. Diggy to stun the Town Hall might save the queen. Barely. Tornado trap spinning, Road champion. Oh, the queen goes down. Road champion gonna get bamboozled by the Giga Bomb. She's not gonna get any extra value after the town hall drops. Boom. She got wrecked. This might be a low percent attack. Ay ay ay. But Marcos Esports just had a fail too, so I mean we're still gonna be all tied up. I think Marcos will have the better percent. Mr. Bus here needs to get as many percentage points as possible. Send some headhunters, distract the king, send all the super barbs around the outside of the base here. Sure, it's the best he can do. It's low 70s. Yikes. 73%. Nice try. Marco Seaspools. Here we go. Queen charge hybrid. Okay. Cool. Queen on the bottom side of the base. Sure. Take out the air defense. Take out some of these buildings. Where's this wall breaker going? Nowhere. Queen to fight the king. Headhunter. Okay. Rage spell. Balloon on the right. Who cool. up? Looking decent for now. Drop the multi, drop the expo. Now the invis tower is covering the town hall, so this could get a little spicy. He's gonna have to freeze at the perfect time. There's the rage on the queen. Freeze. That was indeed not the perfect timing. But the invis spell here might just save the day as the town hall drops. But the monolith locks onto the queen. We have the poison spell, but he's going to decide not to use it. Freeze the monolith. There's the poison on the last ice golem. King siege barracks on the outside of the base. Early heal. Hybrid already making its way inside. Hybrid hits the tornado trap. Okay, pops the warden ability there. Keeps the hybrid unit safe for a little bit of time. 
King and Pecker making their way toward the top side of the base, but already low on health. King doesn't have the Phoenix. He goes down. Diggy stuns the Monolith, and the Hybrid's still kind of moving through the middle section. Queen's alive and healthy. For a champion peeling off toward the bottom side to help the Queen as the Hybrid troops use the last healing spell. But now they're going to start fizzling out very quickly. Warden is dead. Bro, champion gets out in front. Going to fight the enemy champion here, and she's going to get wrecked. Yes, can those miners take out the multi? It's a, it would make a big difference if they did, but they don't. Queen has a lot of open walls to work with, but if she doesn't path perfectly into that multi, this could be a problem on the back end. Queen gets through the champion, gets through the scatter shot. I think Queen might be able to stay alive forever with these healers, but if she skips this multi, he's going to be in big trouble. Sends the two balloons to try and get the archer tower. You can tell he's already thinking about that multi, trying to find a way to force Queen into it, but the archer tower stays up. This is a big problem. Time ticking down as well. He's just going to go ahead and pop the ability. Queen makes her way outside toward the right. Not ideal. Oh. Marcos Esports really want this three star to get a commanding lead here after the fourth round of attacks, but they're not going to hit this triple. Queen going to stay on the outside, going to skip that multi. That's why I said it was so important for those miners to take it out. I could see this coming. Down goes the mortar. Down goes the cannon, and he would have run out of time anyway, even if the multi was dead. 95%. Oof. Jojo is in for TW Minis. With some queen wall, with some dragons, with some dragon riders, and a recall spell. Two lightning spells for an air sweeper. Cool. Boom. Get that left air sweeper. Nice. Let Queen do some damage here on the left side of the base and then recall her the heck out of there. Alright. Alright. Queen picks up that air defense. That poor unicorn gets locked onto right away. Rip the unicorn. Queen taking a lot of damage. Was that supposed to be a recall spell? <laughs> Bro, he dropped a skeleton spell instead of a recall. Oh, this poor guy. This poor guy drops the queen again on the bottom side. RIP. Dragons from the left. Here we go. He might have dropped him a second too early. A couple seconds early as queen has not taken out this air defense yet. Battle blimp. Warden ability. Sure. What's in his blunt? Is it a yeti bomb? Pretty classic. Or it might be just balloons. Ooh, tornado trap. It is a yeti bomb. They are going to pull Ice Golems out of the CC, but with the Tornado Trap there, that actually was the safest thing to use. I guess use another Freeze, but he should get the Town Hall. No, the Yeti's died. He doesn't get the Town Hall. Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. Wow. Even with all those spells invested. Town Hall stays up. He might be in big trouble now. He's going to have to send the Champion to the Town Hall. Rip. If he pops her ability early, she can dodge the Giga Poison. He's going to let her go into the Giga Poison, though. Awkward. King on the right side. His queen died. What the? RC gets the Town Hall, but she goes into the Giga Poison. I think the right call there is to pop her ability on the outside of the base, so she dodges the poison. Otherwise, she just dies there. Yikes. Yikes. King has ability, and that should be it. TW minis with another fail here and another arguably low percent attack. Their best hope now is to get one more defense and finish the match with a triple. If Marcos Esports tripled their last attack, they win. That's for sure. Phoenix comes back to help try and fight the King. Multi stays up on 1 HP. You might get the storage on the left for 70% rip. 69 would have been cooler. <laughs> but he won't get it. Unless he ends the attack early. Oh, he does for the four-star attack. Let's go. My man is a clasher. Marcos Esports. Final attack. Super Bowlers. Cool. Warden with healers on the bottom side. If this homie hits the three-star right here, right now, they win the match. Period. Anything less than a 3-star, and TW Minis can still win. Three Super Bowlers, two E-Titans. Warden setting the nice early funnel. Flame Flinger in there to help out as well. Baby Dragon. Sure. Is he going to distract this mortar? Yes. He's got a giant. 
Then a barb. Okay. Baby dragon to damage the mortar. Flame thing already got a shot off. Mortar's dead. We're looking okay. We need this expo to drop as well. Before we get started. Thing's gonna smash into the right side. Probably. Tesla pops, no big deal. Ward can take it out. Flame Flinger already working on that expo. I think Ward's gonna go for the eagle first. So we gotta wait. Probably gonna wait till the eagle's dead as well. This is taking a long time to set up. Early wall breaker does give us access to the scatter shot by a little bit. Expo dropped, eagle drops, go, go, go. You're wasting seconds. There's, that's like three seconds wasted. If he time fills by less than three seconds, we can blame that. Flame Flinger picks up that multi. Bowlers are in. e -tine on the right side. Headhunter as well. Jump and spell deployed. King way up on the other side to help funnel. These bowlers might walk around, dude. I don't like how he set up this funnel. Nope, they're all going around. Uh, one of them goes in. But he did not set that up correctly. It's awkward. Look at the time on the clock, and they're barely not even taking the jump spell yet. There they go, finally taking the jump. He's got warden ability. He's being patient with it. Skeleton spell on the top side. Town Hall's already awake. <clears throat> As he hits 50%. King on the top side still looking healthy. Flameflinger troops come out to help support. Everybody's taking the jump spell. We will get the Town Hall. But he needs the triple if he wants to guarantee the win for his team. Champion in up there. 53 seconds on the clock. Town Hall drops. 67% and climbing. 45 seconds to go. Two rages still to use. Rage tower on defense. Healers are going to die. That's awkward. Down goes a monolith. Might just need to rage the champion. And he does. He's got the invis spell. He's got 30 seconds. His king goes down. Phoenix brings him back to life. There's the invis spell for the help of the champion. Queen gets in the invis as well. He still has two super bowlers alive on the outside of the base. There's the last rage on the left. 20 seconds. It's going to be close. He's got the RC ability. He's got the queen ability. Pops the queen ability for time. Has the royal champion ability. Skeleton trap distracts. Barb on the outside to help out. Come on, get through the skelly trap. 11, 10, 9. You saved the RC ability for cleanup. Can pop it. Pop it. Boom, 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 boom. 98, 99, and 100%. Whoo, that was close, but he gets it. Calculated three star for Marcos Esports, and they win this match. Sir, you leave with some queen charge twin hogs to end the match for us here. See if he can get a nice three star, even though it's too late for him to win this match for his team. Queen on the left side of the base. Okay. With some healers with a unicorn. Cool, cool, cool. Battle blimp. Sure. The rage bell. Yes, sir. Of course. Boom. Eddie's took the scatter shot out. They took out the champion. They're pulling the CC troops early. Nice, nice, nice. That's all looking good. Dude, these Yeti mites are just getting some cracked value. Rage on the queen again. She's taking a lot of damage. Those expos hit pretty hard. Yeti mites pulling the ice golems for a second. Queen gets a builder hut. Then she'll fight the ice golems. Sure. That's all looking fine. Queen will go take the town hall. We're going to have to rage her up again here, though. Oh, well, we can just kind of use every single rage on the queen just to get through the town hall section. It's a little rough. Drops the king up there, and king's actually going to fight king. Okay. Rage on the queen. This rage tower is about to go off and make everything here do double damage. That could be scary. He didn't pre-trigger that rage tower at the right time because it got enough time to recharge. King already dead on the top side. Yikes. Down goes the town hall. This expo is still ready to do double damage, and we're going to send the piggies from the bottom. Here we go. Here we go. Super Hogs, Champion, Grand Warden, all making their way inside. Queen did take the Town Hall. We got one more Rage. Are we going to use it for the Hog Riders? Yes, we are. He drops it there in combination with the Warden ability. Queen might just have to pop ability to get through that Expo, or we get in Visor. I think he's just going to pop her ability. He's got no healing spells to help these Hog Riders. He's going to go with the Freeze spell early. He's got the Skeleton spell. Drops it there to distract the Queen on defense, to distract the Scatter Shot. Drops the balloons in toward the air defense because that's definitely the best value possible we can get out of those balloons. Royal Champion has ability. He still has that invis. Sends the headhunters a little bit too early, I think. Yeah, he did. Oh, that one's getting a little bit of value. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, headhunter. Poison lizard. Invis spell. 
Down goes the enemy queen. His queen's still alive on the outside of the base. Champion just has to get through the scatter shot with the diggy to help stun. Can he do it? Diggy, stun the scatter. Yes, the scatter. Gonna go down. Can we get that archer tower? He's got a super rider doing cleanup over there. He's got archers doing cleanup down there. The troll Tesla. What the? But it doesn't matter. His warden dies. His champion's still alive to get the archer tower again with the connection issues. But I think it's gonna be a three star for Sir Uni. Rip. Too bad they couldn't get it though on percent. Some of their other attacks were just way too low on percent. Oh man. Sir Uni, did he force quit the app? Or nope, dude, he's just doing his attack at McDonald's as well. You guys gotta stop using that McDonald's Wi Fi, man. For real, for real. What the? Does he actually have enough time to get that storage? I don't know. I think he does. But, uh, I don't actually know. Rip. Plug in your router again, bro. I want to see the results. Hey, LOL. that's me, haha. <laughs> and he's hanging out in Twitch chat. Sir Uni, dude. Thank you for the hundred biddies. But, uh, fix your Wi-Fi, bro. <laughs> Come on. I need to know if it's a 99 or if it's a triple. <clears throat> it's a triple. You can see the Warbot just updated, uh, right there. Nice! GG, Sir Uni. Good attack here. Good attack. Down goes the gold storage. Oh, he had a sneaky goblin over there. Okay, cool. I didn't even notice. That's a three star, but Marcos Esports do pick up the win on percent. 93.8 to 83.8.